Hey everybody, Keith K here with another Stranded Deep survival playthrough. Uh, and in this episode, uh, we're going to do a little bit of exploring and see what other resources uh, that we have near our island, specifically in any of the ships that are nearby. And um, we'll be looking for resources that we can use to build rafts so that we can travel to and from the islands a little faster than we can with the life raft over there. So we've got water set up, we've got um, plenty of food, we've got medicine ready to go, we've got some shelter. So now that we're pretty well squared away here, uh, we're going to do a little more exploring. So uh, you want to go as light as you can. I think I actually may drop my axes just to have an extra storage. Um, so, here we go. First thing we'll do is every island is going to have some of these shipwrecks around it. Uh, so you're just going to want to head into one of them. There are some that are a little less obvious that I'll look at as well. Now you do want to be cautious um, if they are further offshore. You're probably going to want to take a raft to them. Um, sharks will be drawn to you, so we have to keep an eye out for that. And typically you're going to find a lot of crates or wood containers. So we're just going to grab these. I'm not going to worry about what's in them for now. Um, now this is what we're looking for. Things like barrels, buoys. Uh, we can make rafts out of these and they provide good flotation. Uh, but first let's jump down into underneath here and just see if there's anything else hiding. Usually there'll be some lockers. Um, yeah, here we go. So containers like this, you press tab to open. You will, we will find uh, a lot of gyrocopter parts and uh, parts that we can use to build. Oh, and there's a fish uh, that we can use to build uh, a motor, or in the case of gyrocopter, parts of gyrocopter. Um, now here we've got some oxygen. We've got to watch that meter on the bottom. Um, a lot of times, you know, this part will be completely submerged, so you're going to need to... Oh, we got a crude fishing spear, so we'll take that. So, uh, let's see if this fish is still over here. Maybe we'll just grab him. There we go, and... Let's see, we're running a little low on oxygen, so let's just do that. Let's take care of that. Now let's go through the door and see what else is in there may not be anything. All right, so we've pretty much completely taken a look at this. <laughs> now let's take a look at how to get these barrels uh, off. And that's where I should have kept my uh, refined axe. So we'll come back. We'll come back for that. All right, so you hear that music. There may be a shark around here somewhere. We'll just grab some fish while we're at it. Oh, hello. We're going to get right out of the way. Let's get out of here. Now, we are going to need to watch our SPF levels, but I started in the morning, so we may not have a problem here. Um, yeah, let's drop this off. I will organize this stuff off camera like I usually do. I won't make you sit through that. We're just going to drop the stuff that we don't need. Um, let's see. A bunch of different fish. What was in here? We didn't take a look. All right, another flashlight. Uh, some more vehicle parts. Lots of uh, gyrocopter parts. Refined hammer, that's um, that's can be helpful for building. So let's just drop this fishing spear. We'll grab one of our refined axes. 
and I'll see you back at that ship. All right, so now that we're back at the barrel with a refined axe, you can use a crude axe too, you don't have to have a refined axe, uh, but you can't have nothing. Now, the problem with these suckers is you cannot put them in your storage. Uh, you, you have to right click them uh, and carry them. So it's a little bit of a pain, um, but essentially here you can see I'm holding down my right mouse button uh, so it's grabbing the barrel and I'm going to have to transport these one at a time. And again, I'm not going to make you do that. You can throw them so you, you right click, you pick it up and you th left click to throw it. So that could be a way. Uh, I find that it doesn't actually go great. Um, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these and I'm not going to make you uh, sit there and watch me do it. Or maybe we'll speed it up. Alright, so we've got our three barrels from the ship. Um, we can use these to build rafts. If you go in the crafting menu, you can see uh, let's see where is it? you have to go to vehicles uh, and then you can do a wood base so you don't actually need um, the barrels the tires or the buoys but um, I find them to be I don't know just better flotation I guess I don't know if that's a hundred percent true but you build your base and you build your floor on top of that we'll go through this a little later but uh, we do need, you know, to gather these up so that we can uh, build a raft that we can get around on. And a quick reminder, if you are enjoying this video and uh, want to see more of these, please do like and subscribe. It does help the channel. Thank you. The other thing you can do with the barrels is you can create a hobo stove. And I think I'll do that one offline. Well, we're going to keep exploring. We do have to pay attention to the sharks. So again, here we see, all right, so we've got some barrels underneath. Let's take a quick survey. We've got some crates. We are going to be rich with flashlights. Supplies there. Uh, all right, we're going for it. You can see my oxygen is running low, my air, but we can make it out of here. And we've got more barrels on top here. So, again, yeah, that shark is looking for me. It doesn't matter that um, our, our inventory is full because. We can't put them in our inventory. <laughs> um, so they do float, so when you get them from underwater, they will pop up. But I'm gonna stop the video here. I'll finish organizing these, and we'll look to see if there's any more ships out here for us to uh, explore. So I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. Uh, at this point, I'm actually going to get in our raft here, and we're going to cruise around the island uh, to see what other ships may or may not be out here. So um, we've covered everything that's close to shore, and while you certainly can swim out to these other potential wrecks, um, I prefer to go uh, on on a raft. Uh, and get close to them. Uh, a couple things that that does is one, you know, these, some of these can be a little further out uh, and you can get there a little faster in your rafts. If you do run into a shark, you don't have to swim all the way back to shore. So 
that's the approach we're going to take. Now this one you can see is, is definitely sticking up out of the water. Um, we can tell that that's a wreck of some kind. Sometimes all you see is, and I don't see a good example here, uh, I'll look if I can find one. You just see, you know, water kind of splashing up in a strange way. So you have to investigate it. It can sometimes be a rock, uh, like you see there's some rocks here underwater. If they're a little bit bigger, sometimes they'll splash, they'll create a splash that looks like it could be. Um, a wreck and you'll just have to get closer to investigate. So uh, you want to make sure you drop your sea anchor so it doesn't your raft doesn't go too far away and off into the water we go so same procedure let's see we have we have a crate so that's a good one that's at least some um, let's uh, check this and what's down here don't think there's much else, so let's get ourselves out of here. Sometimes you can get turned around as well. I'm just gonna do one more dive just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Get a little turned upside down here. Yeah, we got that container. There's nothing really on the deck. And now we hear some ominous music. So maybe there's a shark in the area. <laughs> there he is. Where's our raft? Um, oh, it, it, <laughs> it decided to float away anyways. Sea anchor or no? Or maybe it just dragged on the water a little bit. No matter. Let's get back inside. Paddle. Huh. It decided to undeploy itself. That's rather strange. I'm not sure what happened there. I need to switch to pedal. Okay. Now, um, let's just cruise around the rest of the island. I know that that guy's there and he's probably gonna bump our raft a little bit. But I want to go check out what this is here. That boat off in the distance is one of the two that we already have checked out. Uh, the other thing about this particular location is you can see that the giant boar is over there and he can be a danger so approaching this by boat is a little bit safer. Oh, this is just a little rowboat. Let's just go check it out anyways. And, yeah, there's nothing here. <laughs> Alright, at this point, I am going to head back to our pier. And we'll pick it up from there. See you in a minute. Alright, I just wanted to come back and show you real quick. This is what I was talking about earlier. Where you see uh, on the water there's some sort of a disturbance here. Not sure what that is. Uh, there is a wreck down here. Uh, but it doesn't look like we're going to get any scavenging off of this. Uh, but that is what you will see in the event. <laughs> this here, this mist on top of the water, that will tell you that there is a wreck potentially nearby. I've seen that, like I said before, on rocks. So it's not guaranteed, but it's always worth checking out. And there's our friend the shark. Let's get the heck out of here. He's deciding to be nasty. Don't feel like dealing with him. We're just going to run away. I'll be back in a second. All right, and let's take a look at what we recovered. Some more rations, 
another refined hammer and a label maker. So this is probably the most valuable, the refined hammer. Um, not that we're doing a ton of construction at this point. However, let's check out the label maker. And um, I have had a short tutorial up on this for a long time, but um, just to show you really quickly, these are pretty useful. So as I talked about uh, before when I built these container racks here, um, you can organize them, right? So I've got food, I've got medicine. And what the label maker lets you do is if you point at it and click with the left mouse button, now I can designate each one uh, in case I forget, because you never know. Um, certainly not necessary, but I find it useful. Especially if I've been away from the game for a little bit and forget what I have and where. And you can see, uh, let's get rid of the label maker. You can see here it's updated the panel on the crate there to say food, medicine, and so forth. So you can use that. Uh, it's pretty handy. Uh, anyhow, that's the loot that we've gotten. Um, at this point, I think uh, we'll probably stop it here and um, in our next episode I will use the barrels that we've collected over here and we'll build our first raft uh, and then we'll set off uh, to another island and check out the wrecks on that island for the supplies to expand uh, the raft. So I'm trying to keep these from being too long so I'll stop it here. Uh, thank you for watching. I uh, always appreciate the support on the channel. And um, I've got a short pull up right here on a couple of other games that I'm thinking about building uh, some videos around. If you play any of these and would like to see a video, please vote. I'd love to hear it. Help me decide what to work on next. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you back here soon.